guys. Um, so I talked a little bit about doing taxidermy. Um, it's a little out of season, but I had a guy uh, bring me a deer from 1940. His grandpa got this, and it's been up in his attic. And so he wants to redo it. And so we're going to take you through the process. Um, first off, there's no septums. Um, ears are solid, dry, not, I'm going to call it paper mache in there. Um, other than that, we'll see. It's, a, it's not a fiberglass form, it's not a foam form, it's a hollow form. Um, a mache or a fiberglass something. It very well, depending upon what it is, it may be a full skull inside here mounted up. But we haven't broken into it yet. We're going to break into it and uh, go from there. And so here we go. <clears throat> First off, we're going to start back here in the horns. Um, it's a wide incision. So, any of you that don't or haven't uh, caped out a deer. If you haven't caped out a deer, guys, just actually um, come in from behind the ears, just below the ears, take your knife and drop it in deep and come with an upward slice um, out back and just go down the, the back, the dorsal line and cut it in an upward motion with as least amount of strokes as possible. You don't want to make it jagged. You really want to make one nice, long, sweeping motion. Um, then when you skin the deer, skin it up as high as you possibly can. Um, and cut off the head. Take it to your taxidermist. Ask him to, you know, show you. And, and if he's got time... We're more than glad to show you how to do it, um, but there are a couple of tricks around the antler butts um, where the skin attaches to the antler. And um, the ears, you want to cut them way down deep. You don't want to slice any lips. So there are certain things that a taxidermist will show you. So thanks. Now we're just taking out the stitches, um, headed on down, so they're a whole lot easier taking out than they are putting in, that's for sure. So we use a baseball stitch here when we put this back together, which we'll see in another video um, later. So I'll get back to it. We're going to continue on. Try to bust through the stuff really not all that important but just show you what's going on so thanks guys again hit like and subscribe if you're looking to see the rest of the rest of this project um, and up and coming old videos square. thanks guys old standard screw so tells you how old that, how long that's been in there okay let's see We may have to get a little bit wet and try to peel. Oh yeah, it's right there. A little rip right here. Oh well, I think we're just gonna, gonna do it. It's right there's the screw. I want to keep this together as much as possible. Show other clients and other people and such what it was like back before we were lucky enough to have sculptors that made our forms all nice and beautiful rather than having to mache them out ourselves and such. 
this definitely looks like it was from a farm. Um, it wasn't a full on sculpt. Definitely more to it than that. Don't no, I think what I'm gonna do here is I may end up just taking my Dremel here um, and cutting this off as a skull cap. I don't really want to pull down and I think that's him. I think that's part of I think he's cut off here and down. And so I don't want to pull all this off of there and have that be the case. So I want to leave that as much intact as possible. So we're going to cut out of there, but I really just wanted you guys to kind of see what was going on. I talked about doing some taxidermy stuff. And so I got this in today and thought, wow, that would really be something kind of cool. To share with y'all. So, here we are. I'm gonna get out of here for a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna run a little Dremel down there and cut that out. <laughs> See what kind of happens here. Like I said, I want to rip the the cape. We're getting a new cape, so it's not like, you know, I mean, hello, we're not trying to fix this or anything. We are really just taking off the antlers. And, but I wanted you all to see, um, to start off with, I guess, you know, the ears, there's no, uh, I think it's just some shea in there. They're pretty thick. Uh, the ends are pretty ragged. Let's see. You know, there's no canal, it's just a, I think what they've done here is, yeah, they've just taken a piece of cape and kind of glued it in there with some hair to kind of cover over the end and it's just kind of pinched down and sewn off. I'm sure that's the same on each, oh yeah, this one's even worse. Well, yeah, it's about the same thing. So. That was what they had, you know. Um, no septum. I mean, it's right there. Heck, it doesn't even get quarter inch in there. We'll have a full septum. You'll see through eyes. This pupil is at this angle. And this pupil, this pupil's close, but this pupil's at this angle. When in reality, these should be true horizontal. Here's look, their eyes are true horizontal, level, across, no matter what. If they're looking, looking, they're looking level. Well, I mean, unless you got a goober eye. Um, but <laughs> other than that, um, so I'm going to get on this, cut that off. I'll come back to you guys and uh, we'll go from there. I got to order a form and so on. I talked with them. We're going left offset, right turn, um, curious alert on the ears. And uh, yeah, it should uh, turn out nice. I've got a broken main beam. We're going to take, I've got a, uh, hold on. Got another antler here. We're gonna graft this on. He was okay with it. But we're gonna put this on here, bing, and it should match up nicely. We'll feather it in, we'll do a little grafting, and we'll make her uh, sort of broken off time here. So we'll take care of that. So, stay with us. Um, like I say, if you want to see this thing progress, hit the like and subscribe button. Um, 
I'll take you through it as long as we keep going with it. Um, I was going to do a uh, uh, wood duck box, but we got this in today, so this is our next project. Uh, thanks for stopping, guys, and hopefully you'll come back and watch her be finished up. Okay guys, actually I'm not gone yet, but right here, this is why you do not leave this stuff in there. Critters. Got some bug eating in there. Okay, well, we did what we could. He's out. There's the farm, and uh, yeah, just kind of flop that all back up on there, tack her down here and there, and leave that as a display. All right, guys, thanks for stopping. Just remember, well, it may last a month or two, but a memory lasts forever. Kick a kid off a video game, take him out in the wood, and create a couple memories, man.